So we're going to talk a little bit about combinations here on a padlock. I have a padlock, and if I'm allowed to use the same number twice, for example, that I'm allowed to use 0, 0, 0, or 9, 9, 9. The way that I work out what the probabilities, what the different numbers of combinations are, I think, how many different numbers could I use on the first one? I could use any numbers from 0 to 9. That gives me 10 possibilities for the first set of numbers. Okay? If I was going to try and break into this padlock, I'd have to get the first number right, and I'd have to get the second number right, and multiply. And I'd have to get the third number right. So if I was allowed the same number any number of times, I would have to have, there are 1,000 different combinations for just three simple numbers. So the chance of me getting the right code first time around would be one chance out of 1,000 possibilities. Okay? That's if you're allowed. But let's say that you're not allowed the same number twice. Let's say that if I've used the zero as my first number, I'm not allowed that. First time around, I would have ten numbers to choose between. But second time around, I don't have ten possibilities anymore, because I've already chosen one and I'm not allowed to use the same number twice. So second time around, I've only got nine possibilities. Third time around, let's say I used a zero here and a one here. Now I've used two of those numbers and I'm not allowed to use them again. So third time around, I'd only have eight possibilities. And this gives me something totally different. Ten nines are 90 times eight. Eight nines are 72. Just doing that little adjustment that you're not allowed to repeat a number gives me, instead of a chance of one in a thousand of getting the code right, I have a chance of one in 720 of getting the code right. So understanding this difference whether numbers are allowed to be repeated again or not repeated again can make a big difference to the probability.